Right, today I'm going to be taking, uh, <coughs> taking a look inside the cylinders today, okay, and giving it a compression test. So let's have a quick look um, inside. So first of all, got to take all these HT leads off. They're all marked, so I'm not going to wait too much which way they go. That's a bit of a stretch over that far one from here. I might have to go around the side in a minute. Okay, so next, let's get the plugs out. Let's put the plugs Oops. And, uh, <coughs> I prefer to use something like the hand tools rather than anything else for taking spark plugs out. Uh, let's have a quick look at the plugs after I've got them out. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see that, but I'm just going to get a bit of white paper and uh, see that comes into focus inside the light okay so uh, if you can see that it looks like it's not burning too badly okay so that's the first plug out <coughs> I'm just going to take them all out and put all the plugs together then Number two, that's looking good. I'll be talking these up afterwards. I think it's, I looked the other day and it, somebody was suggesting it's a, about 12 degrees, uh, 12 pounds feet of the spark plugs. These plugs aren't very old. I don't think it's done a couple hundred miles yet, to be fair. So, I don't think there's any point in showing you those. Who, they're all exactly the same. So I'm going to just get them out of the way so I don't drop them. So we both can see it. I don't want that. Let's come back out of that. Right, well, come back out of that. That's the opposite. That's it. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's that. Okay. I'm just going to make sure the cameras can see it, which you can. That's good. Right. All right. Let's get in the first plug hole. Oops. That's going to be some of the trouble here. So can't really mount it. How about that? That looks good, doesn't it? Okay. Let's go down here. We're going down here. I see the top of the piston. That looks. Uh, that's good. Uh, hang on. I think I can see a couple of marks. I don't know if you can see there's one there. And there's another one there. So obviously the valves have been hitting the piston, which ain't good. Okay, so if I press that. Now this is the side camera with the valves. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to spin it around. That looks like an exhaust valve. And that one is a... can't see it very well. I might have to just take this out and just put a little bit of a kink in it. So that we can get a better view with the side. Oh, that's better. That's an exhaust valve. So if I go around... And that's an inlet valve, I think. And that's the other inlet valve. 
They don't look too bad. Not can see of them. Not a perfect shot. Okay. Oh, that's the other. That's the other exhaust valve. Okay. Yeah, yeah that looks good. And uh, okay, so there's an exhaust valve there. Obviously, lots of carbonite. Okay, so I'm not going to dwell too much longer on that. Um, engine is top on two and three so I need to just go down into four this hang on this number four valves first uh, actually I'm going to change that over press that to yeah, that's, that's a piston okay so uh, it looks like a bit of a ring around there And I don't think that's the bottom of the bottom of the bowl, I should imagine, in that one. And, but there is some marks on it. These are the bits I'm worried about. It's got some valve hit it. That's where the valves were hitting it when the timing wasn't quite right. Okay, so if I go back to That one, where are we? Uh, that one, okay, so we've got some valves up here. Okay, let's have a quick look at that. Uh -huh. there, right, these are the exhaust valves. I'm not too worried about the exhaust valves. I know they're fully coked up. But, uh, I just want to look at the other. Can't see any bits out of them. Okay, that's right. other exhaust valve. That definitely looks like an inlet valve, and that's the other inlet valve. Okay, so they all look complete, which is good. Okay, that's it. Right. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to take this out of the way in a minute because I want to just quickly spin the engine over until I get it into the right place. Okay, so I'm going to get the car out. Now I'm going to be checking two and three. So we're going to have a quick look down here. Two piston. Uh -huh. to have a whole long press on that button. 
That's it. Doing anything. Oh. That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay, so this is the number two piston. And yes, he's got the, these telltale marks on as well. So we've got two grooves in this piston, but other than that, it doesn't look too bad. Hold that for a bit. And it should change to valves. Let's bring it up and have a look at the valves. Mm, I thought we got it a bit too far. Okay, so that's, that's the exhaust valves. Yeah. And I've gone around here. A bit more. Yeah, these are the two ribs and had them and I lost them. Okay, so that's the exhaust valve. That looks well if it's been hitting the piston, it doesn't look too bad. And that one looks like it's seating properly as well. Maybe a little bit of carbon on it. Down here, this is number three piston. I'm going to quick look down in here. So, see, he's looking at the valves. Let's have a look at the piston first. Okay, uh, no, it's still in the valves. That piston, oh, yeah, we can see a mark straight away on this one as well. So, it was all eight valves were hitting the piston and they actually put some nasty marks into it okay but hopefully we haven't damaged the valves at all fair I haven't really noticed anything like that well that valve that's an exhaust valve so that looks all right that's another exhaust oh no these are the exhaust valves and that one looks like a inlet valve and that's the other inlet valve which I'm worried about okay so they look all right Next thing to do is a compression test. Okay, so we're just going to check the compression on this engine whilst I've got the plugs out. So, okay, spin her over, Simon. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's just over 150. I don't know if you can see that, which is good. Okay, let's let that go. Okay, Simon, spin it over. 
150, let it go. Okay, spin it over. Okay. See that? 150. There you go. Last one. Okay, and again. Okay. Yeah, alright. Almost there. Uh, Better over. Okay, that's it. And 150. That's for. Good. That's good, all good. Okay, 150 is about right for this uh, engine. 140 to 150, so we're spot on with the compression ratios. That's good. That's a very good thumbs up. Okay. Right, I'm just going to put the plugs back in. So I'm just going to do them finger tight to start with. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get my ratchet the next one. I'm going to get my hand ratchet here. In the next one. Actually, I'm going to talk them up, put them individually, and then I'm going to talk them up. So, uh, torque should be about 12 psi. That's not a lot, is it? That's it, okay. Okay, and then the next one. Nice one. Okay. That's good. Thank you for watching the video it's great um, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe uh, 
subscribers are very good watch the video all the way through the hours make a difference as well um, I don't know why I'm saying all this because it doesn't really matter to me <laughs> okay so just enjoy the video um, as much as I've enjoyed making it um, so all I can say is that uh, I'm a lucky I feel very lucky at the moment and uh, I'm gonna go and have a, a few beers I think okay so thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one bye for now appreciate everybody that's supported me on this channel, everybody that's subscribed, everybody that's given me a thumbs up, everybody that's left a comment, and everybody that shared my videos. So thanks, thanks again, and catch you in the next one.